got my first victim already. First damn me victim. Oh, boy, 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 boy. Well, I would say the third victim, I would say. That's what I would say then. Boy. Man, I, I tell y'all something right now, man. These damn gas prices, y'all. Boy, they are raping a brother right now. I mean, literally raping a brother right now. Boy, y'all, I just spent like $60 this morning just to fill up the old link basket. Woo! I could just imagine how much money I would spend if I was driving my damn new truck. I'd probably be spending about $100. <laughs> Man, but I mean, it is what it is, y'all. It's just part of the game, man. That's all it is. It's part of the game, boy. Man. Woo. Boy, I tell you, this is what I hate dealing with. As soon as I get here, these damn K-Franks, boy. Man, they're going to be a pain in my ass today. And I'm already not... I'm not really not feeling too good today anyhow. So this just kind of just messes up everything right there. Boy, y'all look at that right there. We got a Mitsubishi 3000. Man, it's been a minute since I seen one of those. Boy, it's been a minute. I think the last time I saw one, this guy was driving one at a store. But it was uh it was like uh it was he had it he had it souped up for like racing. I mean, but it was really nice, man. It was really, really nice. Really nice. Boy, I mean, he had that baby loaded down. I mean, she had everything ready. Everything. But you don't really see them that often. Every once in the blue moon, you may see one or two pop up off in here. And I think that's like my, I think it's like maybe my third one. No, you know what? This one right here makes the third one. I done crushed two of them off in here before already. Mr. Mario, got that old PT loser. Oh, crushing three of these things right here, man, you gotta crush them differently. You have to like crush like two regular, and then you have to crush the middle one upside down in order for them to actually crush just perfect. Because if you try to do like three of them like this, man, it's gonna come out so ugly, y'all. Oh, Took me a while to figure that out there. How to actually crush those PT cruisers. Actually, the PT losers almost perfect. Because they can be a pain in the ass, especially with the especially with that big ass ugly hump on top of you like a damn camel. Oh, it makes it twice as hard to try to stick it right up off it now. Y'all know what? I just realized something, man. I just realized something. For the past couple of weeks, I have been crushing so many nasty mates, man. So many of them. It's not even funny. Same way with the Fall Apart Hondas. Same way with the old Chitty Chevys. Dumpster Dodges. Cracked Up Kills. Three Piece Mazda. Trash Lag Jags. Boy, I mean, right now, I don't even have no trash lag jacks right now, I don't. I don't have not one up in this damn yard. Boy, 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 boy. Hey, you curse so many of the same damn cars. Man, it, it's, it's, it's impossible to forget what cars you crush. Y'all get what I mean? Cause you do so many of them. I'm like, like right here, I'm gonna make a prime example, which I should have recorded this this morning, but I didn't. Here's a prime example right here. This bundle right here has four Nissan Altimas. Four, two black, one gray, one blue, then you got the tan, the ugly tan one sitting right there. Boy, you end up crushing the same amount of cars. It's like, it's like you can't help but to just, you know, recognize what it is. You know, I mean, hey, I 
that. That's just how the game goes, baby. These right here, these right here fall apart hunters. They're diamond dozen. They are a dime a dozen. Damn, he scared the hell up out of me. I already know somebody gonna ask me that. Have you ever had any cars fall off? Yes, I have. Yes, I have multiple times. All right, what do I want to put up next? What do I want to put up next? Hmm. Let's see, well, I guess we won't take one of these old What's this old fall apart Hyundai right here? Uh, yes sir, it's a fall apart Hyundai right there. Man, you know what? I didn't even realize yesterday, but shit, I got the Monte Carlo off of here. I did not even realize that at all. Especially when I drove up over there. Oh, man, dude, like I see a Ford Probe up off in here, y'all. Man, I surely do. Man, that is a Ford Probe sitting up over there. Boy, I haven't seen one of them damn things in a long time right there. We go that dumpster D neon right here. So far, man, I only, I've only seen maybe three or four of these over there. I mean, three or four on the road. And there's one lady, there's one older lady, an uh, elderly lady, she has one where I stay at. And it's like, uh, it's uh, like all black. But boy, that damn thing, boy, she driving that damn thing till it falls apart. I mean, bumper hanging, back bumper hanging, one of the tail lights busted, one of the headlights got tape on it. <laughs> I keep telling her, hey, hey, you need some parts for that car? She be like, no, 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 no. I'm just gonna ride this baby into the ground and go ahead and give me another. All right, then. all right. So what happens to a load if it gets rejected from the mill? Well, first what they'll do is they'll go to the first mill. If it gets rejected from the first mill, they'll take it to the second mill. If it gets rejected from that second mill, then the load is, is taken back to the customer and then it's offloaded back onto the ground, off the trailer. And then that person, that customer, he has to dig through his cars to see what was, uh, you don't know say, what was off in there and the reason why they didn't want it. You know, so it could have been, it could have been something that had radiation or gave off, or uh, uh, gave, uh, you know, what I'm saying, gave off some type of radiation. Or, you know, I mean, it could be a number of things, the reason why it got rejected, you know. But that's not our fault that it got rejected because we're just here to crush the cars, you know what I mean? So we're not here to, you know, search the cars, but we here, you know, you know, so we do have to search the cars to make sure there's no, like, propane tanks, oxygen tanks, um, you know, gasoline tanks. Uh, you know, anything that's gonna be flammable, you know, I mean, I, I mean your load can be rejected just because it had a propane tank off in there You see what I mean? So it could be rejected just because of that Just because they seen it and they be like, oh, well, no, nah, we don't want this load because it's got something off in there It's hot, you know, but like I can say it could be a number of things the reason why they turn down your load You know, I mean, I'm not really I'm not 100 percent sure on, you know, saying on on um on how they detect the reason why they didn't, you know, say the reason why they didn't want it. Like I said, this could have been it, it, it could have been something small, or it could have been something big. The reason why, you know, so you have to you have to kind of look at it that way too, also, you know. But having your load rejected is not a good thing at all. It's really not a good thing. I mean, that's basically a bad thing because because it gives it gives the company a bad name because they went and with, because they went to go crush their load but how are we supposed to know that your load was getting rejected you know saying it right after we got to finish crushing so that wasn't our fault that you know saying your load got rejected like that way 
you know, like I say, we do our job. Like I say, we just make sure that there's nothing off in there that's flammable that should not be up off in there, period. And that's just really the only thing. That's really just the only thing, you know, say we'd be looking for besides the, uh, you know, besides the goodies and everything, you know what I mean? You know, but once you do find the goodies, it's like, ooh, ooh ah, you know what I mean? And sometimes, it's, and sometimes you will, sometimes you will accidentally, you know what I'm saying, look over there, you know what I mean? Just on accident, not being on purpose, but you know, accidents do happen sometimes. They really do. Boy, I got four bundles already, man, already. Man, see that's what I like about old Victor Lode here, man. Victor Lode is so easy to do. Man, it is so easy to do. But like I said, you ain't, you ain't really doing nothing but just Dealing with the gas tanks, that's all you're dealing with. Just the gas tanks only. Damn, I got another, uh, what's this, another, I would say, I would say this is a cracked up key, I believe. I believe this is what this is here. It's an old cracked up key right there. Oh snap, y'all. Y'all check it out, man. I got another park L, but man. Well, I remember I used to roll one of these suckers, man, back in my back in my early teens. Boy. Oh the boy boy boy. Let's see what else we got up over here. I think I got another bird over here. Surely do it right off. See if I can grab this baby right here. Damn. She almost she almost took the other cab with her. That's the reason why I love my job so much, y'all. I get to do shit like that. <laughs> Just imagine if there was somebody's real car. Boy, they will be pissed off at G Mac, boy. They will be highly pissed off. But oh well. Oh well. The way I look at it, baby. It's like an old oh well ceremony, you heard me? Do, do, do. Woo, woo, wow. These suckers right here, man. These damn things, man. They just heavy along with, with even with, without the motor in them, they heavy. Can you imagine probably having having a load of these right here, 15 of them. Can y'all imagine the weight of the load is going to be with 15 of these with the motor in them, plus filled with trash. Ooh, boy, you look at probably you look you'll probably be looking at it good. At a, at a good heavy load, good heavy load, man, with a nice paycheck on top of that baby right there. Collecting a lot of gas today, y'all. Man, that man collecting a lot of gas. Every gas tank, every every car I don't put up there had nothing but clean, good gas. He's gonna need him a 50 gallon drum here in a little bit. He's gonna need it. Now, I remember back in the days, man. Back in the days, I used to do the same thing, but I used to fill up 50 gallon drums, two or three of them a day. Man, then turn back around, then then turn back around, and tell him. You know, selling two dollars a pop. Shit, that's a hundred dollars right there. It's a hundred dollars right there, two dollars a gallon. You cannot miss with that at all. You cannot miss with that. So where do the cars go after being crushed and what and what is made of them? Well after the, after the cars are being offloaded off the trucks, they actually sit in the back of the shredded mill. Actually sitting back with the rest of the uh, with the rest of the cars they have unloaded from the mother trucks. 
So I get so from there, from there, they end up being separated, fed to their conveyor belt. They once they fed to once they fed to the conveyor belt, they dropping off and they dropping off inside the shredder. You know, and um after them being dropped off inside of it, they're actually being broken up into like different size pieces. You know, some the size of a man fist, uh, some the size of uh, golf balls, some the size of little tennis balls, you know. Everything is all separate on different type of conveyor belts, the non-metal, the aluminum, uh, uh, what they call the fluff, all that other stuff, the plastic, the, co uh, the, the, the cotton, uh, all that other shit, the rubber, you know, all that other stuff. So it's all being, it's all being separated as it as it you know as it comes out on the second conveyor belt so it's being you know over there over here you know so i mean they you know what I'm saying so after all that is done there after i mean look, look, after all that is said and done so basically basically it get it get uh loaded up in uh train containers get loaded up in, in uh train containers then from there and just be shipped off to wherever it needs to be shipped off to you know, different parts of the world or whatever, whatever station is going to go to, to be loaded up on that boat or whatever, and boom, it's sent off. So we use these, that metal that's been chopped up from these cars, what we use on an everyday daily basis, everyday daily basis. New cars, new uh, new houses, uh, forks, spoons, whatever, you know what I'm saying, well, 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 whatever you use on a daily, on an everyday basis is what this metal is used for. Basically, that's all it is. You know, I mean, they use it for other things, you know, making titanium drill bits, stuff like that, you know. That's all it's really is. It's all it's made out of, man. It's what, it's what they use it for. Man, I didn't even think, to be honest with y'all, man, I didn't, I didn't think the damn, uh, this damn big ass, uh, stinking Lincoln. I didn't think it would really fit between the two, the two damn birds. The Buicks, the birds, the Buick. I know in just a minute I got to get ready to offload all these damn me cars that came on this damn me trailer here. Man, all right, let me find somewhere to, uh, let me see if I can squeeze through here with the game right quick. and make it straight through that. Well, there go one load already done. So now it's time for me to play with the other load. Man, y'all, there they go right there, the 1971 Dodge Colt right there. Wagon, I might well say. Man, we used to do this so much back in the days. Offload cars off the trailer all day long. Just so you could curse the damn me cars. Man, sometimes you said these guys be having these big ass trucks on these small little old bitty trailers and it's like First of all, how in the hell are we supposed to get this big ass thing up off of here? Second of all, how in the hell did you even get it up there? They looking at you, you looking at them, it's like, uh, uh it's like, uh, I have no idea, man. Be amazed, man, on how these guys get these cars up off in here. He just carried, he just carried four of them off in here. I think that is a Volkswagen Passat. Yep, sure is. I need some parts off of that for somebody. Yep, yep. Right quick. So I'm trying to hurry up and get this second load done here. 
some other guys that can offload those other cars without, without any problems. Starving student right now, y'all. I really am. I'm hungry as shit. Everything fit right up off of there, just like a glove. Another damn load. He already got some one there already. Partial load. This is partial of uh, load number two already here. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's go ahead and take you back there. I think I'm just going to throw this on one of the cars up there on top. Mississippi 3000, like I say from the beginning, do not see too many of these cars unless they're in a salvage yard or a crushing yard. Like I say, I only seen one person that has one and his stuff is souped all up. 1994, Mississippi 3000, guys. Tail lights in the car, right? That ain't too, too bad. Still in pretty good shape. Mexico, they already snatched the motor out of her already. Yeah. Ah. See? It's okay. It takes a lot of force, y'all, to go through these gas tanks, man. It takes a lot. You gotta go through the metal, plus that old hard, thick plastic in the back. They are a pain in the ass. Boy, y'all, man, we got a birthday, boy. Boy, we got a birthday. It's been a minute since I did a birthday shout out. It's been a little bit. Woo, wee boy, y'all. It is really, really warming up out here. Big time. I mean, big, big time. Man. Screaming out, happy birthday to Mr. Mario Lopez. AKA Super Mario. Y'all know exactly who he is, man. Golly, y'all. He is turning 55 today, baby. Man, he is turning a big 55. Golly. Boy, that's my boy Mario, man. That's my boy Mario. Man, y'all make sure in the comment section, man, y'all wish this man a happy birthday. That way he can see all the comments and that way he can see the birthday shout outs too, also. Boy, Super Mario turning 55, guys. Man, that man is 55 years old, guys, and he's still out here working like he is 25 years old. Whoops. Man, that's, see, that's what you call, 
that's what you call a machine down there. That's what you call a machine almost. Like I told y'all, man, Mario, he is the type of guy, y'all, he does not know how to stop. I have to tell Mario, go take a break. Mario be like, nah, it's okay, it's okay. I have to force that man to go take a break, y'all. I literally have to force him. Because he, like I say, he don't know when to give up. He's kind of like me, man. He just don't know when to stop. He just keep pushing and pushing and pushing. Just like today. I don't really feel all that great at all, but I'm trying to make the best of this damn me day. I'm trying to make the best of it any kind of way that I can. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do, and that's exactly what I'm going to do, guys. Y'all give me one sizzle. I'll be goddamn, y'all. I have my brand new fresh bottle of water, man. I just got it out of my damn me truck, got it out of my cooler. It's nice, ice, and cold. I sit it on back of my damn me loader. I totally forget all about it. I go to go crush the birthday car. I turn back around. That baby is just all busted over, man. Y'all, I'm so goddamn me heartbroken behind that. It's not even funny. I mean, I am literally heartbroken behind that, guys. Golly. See, as y'all can see, man, I have been mighty, mighty busy. All them bundles sitting around there. I've been mighty, mighty busy today, y'all. Trying to get it. Man, I tell y'all now, man. This damn sun right now. It's got everybody over here walking like zombies. I mean everybody. Everybody who's here working, they walk around like zombies. Man. Boy, I mean, it is really, I mean, it's not as hot. It's just the humidity what makes it 10 times hotter than what it's supposed to be. You know, because right now ain't no wind blowing at all. No wind blowing. Mario done changed this shirt twice today, y'all. He done changed this shirt twice today. Mario, I'm gonna put it under my car right here. Woo. Then on top of that, Angie, she called me. And we were just talking there for a minute. And I just went quiet on her, y'all. I mean, I just went quiet as hell. And she was like, what's wrong? I was like, man, I just, I'm just not feeling it. She was like, feeling what? I'm like, man, I'm just tired. I'm tired, I'm tired. I'm like, I'm just tired, I'm worn out. My body is worn out. I mean, man, I'm constantly moving. I haven't been able to stop. I'm constantly pushing myself to get that done, to get this done here. You know, and man, it just takes toll on the body sometimes, man. It takes toll sometimes. Then, shit, then like last night, I didn't go to sleep till about, she was going on almost one o'clock. I didn't turn back around and wake right back up four hours later. Man, I still really not even feeling good behind that. And she was like, well, I'm about to come over your house tonight. I'm gonna I'm, I'm have to whoop up some stuff for you, man, so you can get yourself better. I was like, shh, please do, please do. Right now, I feel like a damn dead zombie walking. It's like everybody else. Oh, man. Y'all, man, I'm so damn dead tired right now. Oh, it's not even funny, man. Woo. Oh, let's see, what do I have? Oh, okay, okay. Y'all give me one sec, I got this.
Alright, that's gonna be it, y'all. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be in way better shape than what I am tomorrow. I mean today. We'll just see how it goes. Y'all stay up and I'll stay up. Peace. I'm out.